Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Hi, this is Kyle with HKN, and today we are going to be doing a Circuit 2 problem with a JFET, which stands for Junction Field Effect Transistor. Uh, the biggest difference between this and a BJT, which the class usually focuses on for the beginning half, is that this is voltage controlled while a BJT is current controlled. So, in terms of calculating, the important value here would be VGS, which essentially is the beta value, so it manipulates uh, how the, the FET performs. And so we're going to want to find three values for the circuit. We're going to find ID, which is this value right up here. So it's the physical uh, current going through the JFET. We're going to want to find VDS, which is the current drop, and then VGG, which is right here. And so to start off, we're going to go ahead and find that ID value. ID is going to be equal to VDD minus VD. All that over RD. Okay, so VDD, that is our input voltage. We have 12 volts here. Minus VD. VD is our uh, voltage at the drain. So just for some uh, labeling here, we have the drain. We have the gate, and we have the source. So we're going to have 12 volts here, minus the voltage at the drain, which is 6 volts. We're going to divide all of that all over by the resistance at D, which is 2.2 kilo ohms. And that's going to give us a value of around 2.73 milliamps. Okay, that's our first value. Now what we're going to want to do is find VDS. To find VDS, go ahead and switch colors here. We're going to want to find the difference between the voltage of the drain minus the voltage of the source. Well, we can go ahead and look here and see, hey, this is grounded. There's no uh, components. So therefore, S has got to be zero, VS. So since we know VD already, VDS is just equal to 6 volts minus 0 volts. And we get a VDS of 6 volts. All right. Now we have one more thing to find, VGG. This gives me a little more complicated, but not too bad. Uh, we got to do a little thinking here. Uh, we got to think, what's VGG equal to? Well, we have the VD over here. We have VG, VS. If we look at it, we can assume that uh, VGS is equal to VGG, negative VGG, because VGS is essentially the current from here to here. And so they're essentially the same, considering it's grounded, relative to ground, that is. So we're going to write that down. VGS is equal to negative VGG. If I can write today, that'd be wonderful. All right, now there's a certain relation for these. Uh, this one's a little bit more complicated. It's generally just best to memorize it. VGS is going to be equal to VP times 1 minus the square root of ID divided by IDSS. And so these two values are usually going to be given to you. You have IDSS and VP. And we already calculated ID, and we know it's right there, 2.73 milliamps. So we're just going to go ahead and plug in some values. VGS is going to be equal to negative 4 volts times 1 minus the square root of ID, which is 2.73 milliamps, divided by 8 milliamps. And so you don't have to worry about converting these for this particular instance to uh, just amps because you have milliamps over at milliamps, and so these are going to cancel out. So when you go ahead and solve this out, you should get a VGS of around negative 1.66 volts. And based on this relation we saw before, we can deduce that VGG is equal to 1.66 volts. That's the last value that we found. And Problems might not ask you specifically to solve for these explicit values. There might be something else related, like say 
let's say there was a component here and said uh, find vs. Based on these basic uh, methods that we've used, you can find these important voltages. And from there, you can essentially find any particular thing that they ask for when solving for the circuit. So if you need any other help with anything else related to circuits too, or anything electrical related, be sure to stop by our YouTube channel and take a look.